I'm gonna start this video off today. Lots of people, obviously common question these days is why is everything so expensive? So right here, we've got a 2023 International Extended Cab Rollback. I'm not sure exactly which one of these it is per the VIN number, but this truck, it's got about a thousand miles on it. And it's gonna be somewhere in the 155 to 165 range. Cummins, loaded interior, visor, boxes, LED light kit, etc. Well, people are like, dang, why do you have so many trucks that y'all order? You know, it's like it's something new. Try to walk over here where it's not so noisy. Proofs in the pudding, as they say, so just want to show those naysayers that think this is something we started yesterday when we're glad to tell people it's been over 20 years of doing this but here's a folder pulled out just as one example that's a signed off order sheet that exact truck we just looked at but in 06 extended cab black with a century 10,000 pound bed or 10 series bed Aluminum wheels, nice option. Remote lanyard winch, 68.9. Signed, October 2005. Purchased and ordered. Well, here we go. What is this? Another 2006. Sentry bed. Put quarter fenders on this one. 67.809. Oh, let's not stop there. Let's do one more. 73,000. So, two things. One, this should show all the guys. This is not something we started yesterday, and we can keep on flipping if you want, but we've been doing the tow trucks for a long time. Most of the time using them on a personal level and then selling, sometimes buying them to sell, to have in-stock inventory. Heck, one time my dad bought one just to use it for a parade because uh, he wanted to tow one of our classic trucks that wasn't finished. So we've been in the tow game a long time, been in business a long time. But as to the prices, everything in the world has gone up. Every single solitary thing. There is a convenience in us having a truck on the ground. If you try to buy a tow truck currently, you're going to get told the same thing we get told. Six to eight months, maybe a year depending on options, maybe depending on the bed manufacturer, maybe three months. But the trucks we have are here in stock and on the ground. Now, I don't like tying up 100,000, 150,000, some of these darn wreckers, almost 200,000. So obviously we do make a profit when we sell a truck. There's no secret to that. We have a truck that you can put to use tomorrow. Industry standard for a rollback should be making between $500 and $1,500 a day. How do we know that? Because we also tow vehicles. We also rent tow trucks. In doing that, it has to be justified in what it costs to do business. So let's just call the average a thousand, even say 750. We'll multiply that times one month of waiting. If you say a thousand, that's easy math, 30 grand. Go three months, let's just say, for the quickest turnaround of building a rollback. $90,000 lost revenue. A lot of these trucks we have here have taken over a year to build. So if you do the math on lost revenue and you wanna complain over five or $10,000 that the truck might be higher than what you're willing to pay or what you're quoted to have one built for. The other thing in quoting to have one built in that quote says price can vary. Prices will go up. Prices do go up. The other benefit with us, we're not married to any of the manufacturers. We like all the above. You know, we've seen weak spots. We've seen better spots, but Century Miller product, Jordan, Danco, Dual Tech, 
even have an NRC right now. You know, we've seen the weak points, we've seen the good points. They all have their own price point, and I think they're all priced pretty good uh, for what they are. But here's to a, another way to understand this industry. Just this weekend, had to work on one of my rental properties. I was about an hour away from home, had a little plumbing issue to deal with up in a ceiling. Well, had to go to the local plumbing store and pick up some fittings and stuff like that. No big deal. Well, while I was there, realized I did not have proper ladder that I was going to need and didn't want to hope that the tenant had one. And I was about an hour from home. So they had a step stool type ladder there at the plumbing store and I bought it. It was a hundred bucks. I needed it. You know, it was worth it to me. So didn't have to make two trips. Didn't have to go back again. Well, lo and behold, I just was on Amazon and ordering some stuff today that I needed. And I said, let me look up this ladder. You know, it seemed like it was a little high, but you know, it is what it is. It's bought, paid for, it's done. But you know, I could have bought it on there for 50 bucks. Well, I would have had it two days later. I needed it that day. It did not really matter what the price was. I needed it. I got it. They had it in stock. They're a smaller company. They're not selling 5,000 of them like Amazon. No, I paid double the price. It was worth it to me. I needed it, you know. It was a spur of the moment thing. Well, during that trip, I also stopped and got something to eat. Stopped at a little side the road little store and uh, type chip that I buy, you know, like hot potato chip. Get them almost every day. Get them from the dollar store. Well, guess what I pay there? a dollar well stopped at this store grabbed a pepsi and a grab of these pack of these chips and paid six bucks well guess what that bag of chips was 359 same bag of chips but i got it in my hand versus not having it in my hand for a dollar so it's not only one thing in life that price changes and convenience plays a factor into it and trust me I'd prefer not to have a hundred thousand dollars here and a hundred thousand dollars there and a hundred fifty thousand dollars there and a hundred fifty thousand dollars there and a hundred fifty thousand dollars there times over one hundred units that are sitting here, but we have to pay for them. You know, if somebody out there uh, has a hundred thousand dollars and they want to just throw it out there and not make any money on their investment, then hey, I'm all for it. You know, I could use a hundred more trucks on a lot, but that doesn't happen. So again, we have to make a profit. It's business. If you don't understand it, well, order a truck and wait for it. That's cool. Also, watch one of the new videos with the light package, the trash can holder, the broom holder, all the other stuff that we're outfitting on our trucks as part of the package. Also, look at the video where it shows all the safety equipment, the recovery stuff, all that as well. This stuff's not free. We get a truck from the factory. It does not have anything on it whatsoever. We get a used truck. Everybody steals everything off of it, scarfs every piece of their equipment off of it. So when we replenish it and replace it, it costs. I just placed an order with one of the chain companies and some of the accessories, almost $30,000. That supply will only last us one month. That's chains and straps and you know some of the recovery gear. Matter of fact, I think it was about 38,000 to be exact. So a lot of money goes out in equipment and hardware. So just a little food for thought when you want to complain about a price or don't understand the price. And you know, if you look at your grocery bill, you look at your fuel bill, everything in life's gone up, unfortunately. It's gone up for us too. So but what we can do differently is we can put product in your hand today. These trucks are here, built, ready, paperwork on hand, titles on hand. I didn't get a chance to go through all the commercial side over there, unfortunately, They're doing some construction, so a lot of noise, but you know, 35, 40 tow trucks and rollbacks and 35 or 40 box trucks and small wreckers and other stuff over there to look at. But hope this video helps shed a little light on why things cost what they cost and the unfortunate fact that not much we can do about it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, keep an eye on the website for updated inventory. If you need a tow truck or rollback, feel free to call. You can call me directly at 804-357-9768.
or you can call the office at any time check the website shoot us an email whatever you'd like to do